everyone, this is Larissa Bonnet, family nurse practitioner, functional medicine practitioner, advanced functional health and wellness. Thank you for joining me today uh, in my channel. Please, if you have not done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you will never miss a video from me again. Here we are here to talk about mitochondria. What is mitochondria? Um, mitochondria are organelles that are, are found in most of our body cells and they are essential to support many critical body functions and we have about 10 to 20 mitochondria in each of our cells and each of them have different genomes. Um, usually it's they are inherited from our mothers meaning that uh, we can only get it from the mother's side. Uh, what else? Other fact on mitochondria. Mitochondria makes ATP, another name called adenosine triphosphate, which is the basic energy currency in our body. So basically, mitochondria makes up 90%, guys, 90% of energy the body needs. So that means if you don't have a good functioning mitochondria, guess what? You don't have energy and you can actually die. You can actually die from not having enough um, mitochondria. So there's some causes of mitochondrial defects. Um, up until today, it's still not quite understood, but um, there are some issues with genetic disorders, uh, environmental exposure, and especially nowadays, being exposed to unclean water, to a certain kind of food, um, the air, pollution, and even some of our cosmetics products. So um, there are many ways we get exposed to heavy metals and other toxins. Medication, obviously because of the chemicals and some genetic um, disorders and stress. So how does mitochondrial diseases affect our body? Surprisingly, it affects many important organs and causes, it may cause chronic fatigue, muscle weakness, seizures, diabetes, uh, cough problems, and a lot of heart issues. It can, even it can even cause liver, GI, kidney malfunction, and some exercise intolerance. Besides that, there might be also some cognitive disability, some hearing and vision impairment. So as you can see, it's really a big deal when the mitochondria is not functioning at its best. Okay, so on our end, what did we do? Looking at the functional medicine lens, looking at um, another approach to treatment, uh, we developed a comprehensive care plan. Uh, we order labs, some of them include organic acids, which is um, a urine test, Nutrival, and many others. And it's obviously it's important to have high quality, high potency mineral supplements and vitamins tailored to each individual. Obviously, another good one is exercising. Um, moderate exercise every day is very important. Uh, nutrition, you want to eat a healthy meal every day. Get your vegetables and fruits and antioxidants in. You want to engage in joyful activities, practice uh, gratefulness, that's very important. So if there's an activity that you like to do that makes you happy, that makes you smile, you know, um, whether it's gardening or whatever that is, please go ahead and indulge. Uh, last one is rekindle uh, social network and healthy relationship. Um, get a friend, you know, get friends, get together, have maybe a cooking session, um, cook a healthy meal, share among each other, uh, this type of thing. If you're looking for more information on mitochondrial testing, or you would like recommendation or natural supplement to support your immune system, you can visit us at www.advancedfunctionalhealthandwellness or you can call 
966-2558. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for listening. Until we meet again, have a great one. Please go ahead and subscribe on the button down below so you will never miss a video again. Take care.